Hey everybody, we're talking a little bit about uprights on trailers for pontoon boats, tri-toon boats, okay? Um, your trailers are usually offered with um, internal uprights where they're down the center of the hulls. You can see the, the tunes come in on the outside of these center uprights, and these are generally shorter uprights. Um, there's some pros to them, I'm sure, but all I can do is tell you that, the, that they're mostly cons, okay? In this case, these uprights here are protected on one side so that they have carpet and, and uh, two by fours on one side. So if you were to miss with your pontoon uh, hull and you come in on the wrong side of it, you're actually going to cut your hull. All right. So we're going to show you some damage that was caused by pontoons coming in on the wrong side of these. These are extremely sharp. And what they do is because this is a steel and your hulls are aluminum, the aluminum loses out each time to the steel. The steel is the stronger of the two products. So we generally don't like these shorter uprights that are down the center of the hulls. Okay. Plus they load up in the wrong fashion and we're going to show you the damage. Damage does two things. Okay. It, it takes away from the value of your boat, but it also takes away from the speed of your boat. If you compress in the hull sides from these shorter uprights, you're making the, the tube uh, shape or your tune shape change so it's going from a, a nice round tin can or a round aluminum uh, uh, shape to a pressed in or flat aluminum shape so the more you change water um, the the more the water has to bend the meaning that the more the slower you'll go okay so what we want to do is we want to take a shape and we want to make that a fair shape meaning a straight shape a rounded shape but it doesn't want to have hollows and weaves and waves into it that would slow it down all right so we're going to show you the effect of that the these are the shorter uprights now if you can see them these are the longer uprights which are on the outside right now okay and these uprights are the uprights that are going to be uh, made for this boat because we're taking these out these are going to become obsolete for the application that we're using them for. And the application we're using them for is we put hydrofoil in on this boat. Hydrofoil can't fit through these shorter uprights. But we also, with the longer outboard uprights, now when we come in between the trailer, like we're a runway of an airplane, we are lining up the trailer, lining up our boat together. But we're also up against the rub rail or the side rail of the boat. So that means we're not pressing in on our tin cans. Plus, if you can see these uprights over here, um, we are protected on all quarters. In other words, these uprights here have PVC completely around them. Okay, so that as they turn, there's no really bad side to this. Whereas these fixed uprights that were on here previously have a bad side, which is unprotected, and a good side, which was protected. So if we get on this side, as we told you, bad news. On this, we don't have that option, okay? As our boat comes in here, we're gonna be protected by the PVC, and it's not gonna allow us to get any kind of a cut or a press to our hulls, because we're always gonna be against this deck rub rail. So we highly recommend these outboard uprights that are much better for the um, lifespan or the wear and tear on your boat, okay? Boats are too expensive for having scratches down the sides of them or damage down the sides of them. Okay, everybody, it's Mike again. We're back showing you the uprights, uh, how they verse the hull when the hull comes onto the trailer, okay? So generally what you wanna see is the uprights will be on the inside of the trailer. Your, your boat will be coming onto the trailer and it'll come down this direction as the boat comes on the trailer, okay? So we wanted to show you that when they're on the protected side, all good things, right? But when it's on the unprotected side, we're gonna get scratches. All right, so on this side, this side has no damage. As you can tell, there's we can take our pencil, which is a flat surface, and it's rounded, right? There's no damage to this hull. We can also take a level from our baffle point here and our bow area up there, and there's no gaps in here this is all flat if you can't see. So we run this up on the water lines. It's all flat. It's the way that it's supposed to be and there's not any damage. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna slide over to this hull and show you the difference, okay? The first thing that you may or may not be able to notice is that as soon as we come in here with our straight edge, okay, we've got damage, all right? And where you can really see the damage is I bring my 
uh, my level up from the baffle point forward again, I can take a pencil because this has been damaged back here. I can take a pencil and go actually up through this area. That's how punched in this area of the hull is, okay? You can also see it by, if I take my pencil this way, see how flat it is? It's not rounded, all right? So I'm setting now on a flat surface that's been pushed in from these uprights that were on the correct side. However, what they were doing is, is if the boat was a little bit askew or canted coming in because of current or wind, we've actually put a point load onto this hull and we've taken this aluminum can, this tune, this hull, whatever you want to call it, that's aluminum, and we've pressed it in on an area where there's no support, right? We know there's support here where there's a weld we know there's a support back there where there was a weld and we know there's support on the stern where there's a weld but in between we have no supporting right so we got to treat these like tin cans and we got to treat them not like they're fragile but in a way that's not going to damage them so these shorter uprights we don't recommend we re recommend the outboard uprights that go against the hull we've said that once already that's our preference and that's what we're recommending to the public all right so just to finish up on the uprights versus you know the long ones that support the rail along here on the outboard edge they're going to hit the rail right they're not going to hit the hull so you're not going to get the tin canning or the you know the the bad area of pressing against the hull okay the worst you would get is pvc up against your hull and it's going to be touching this at almost the same time to where you won't put damage to the hull. Damage does what? Damage slows your boat down. It takes away from the value because you have scratches in your hull. And it also, um, your boat won't be as fast, right? If you're tin canning this boat all the way down and it's not straight anymore, it's just not going to be as fast. So you want a straight hull and you want to look of that you've taken care of your boat this is the way to go is get away from the internal short uprights. Let me show you one other thing real quickly is that this gentleman got on the wrong side of the upright. He got on the unprotected edge. So it was steel versus aluminum. What works or what, what is going to do the most damage? This steel is going to be the harder of the surfaces and you can't actually put your finger down this edge because it's jagged and I would cut myself. So there's two marks that were done looks like possibly from two different tries of this short upright being on the boat. Once again, we recommend the long uprights, okay? You can see also the tin canning that happened here is that, you know, you, if you just hold this against the hull, this pencil won't fit down all the way, but it is in there. It's probably a half of the distance or half of the thickness of that pencil. That's what you get from the short uprights. This does not happen with the long outboard uprights long outboard uprights allow your boat to come in. You'll sneak in with the edge of your shear line. You sneak in and then you just kind of pivot your boat back and forth until you're lined up like an airplane on a runway. And then you just inch your way up. It sits into the two by four longitudinals that are on the bottom. The bottom starts sitting on and you just keep the gun on and, and aim for the center of the trailer, lining everything up. And it just works much better for current, for wind, and you don't damage your boat.